Okay, so we just finished our first Java program. Now we're going to get directly on to making bucket plugins. We're going to want to create a new project in Eclipse. Call it first bucket plugin. Okay. Now, in the first bucket plugin, we are going to need to create a package, which is something new that I didn't introduce last time. Basically, for the knowledge of creating bucket plugins, it's just a little container. Like you would put a bunch of objects into a package to send to your grandma for her birthday. Same thing with bucket plugins. You put all the files that you need into the package. And that's what the bucket plugin that's what bucket receives and as your package. So we're gonna make a new package called test. A lot of videos will have you create complicated names such as com dot something dot something else. But that's way too complicated for the means of bucket plugins. All that you need to do is name it some, something logical. I'm just going to name it test since we're making a test plugin. Okay, next thing we're going to need to do is import the bucket API so that we can program for bucket and not just regular Java. So make sure that you download it from dl.bucket.org. Wait for it to finish downloading. Then inside of Eclipse, under your bucket plugin, go to Properties, Java Build Path, and then Libraries. Add external jars. Then you're going to want to find the name of the bucket you just downloaded. So, craft bucket dash 1.3.1 dash r 2.0 so here's our car 2.0 hit ok and now the bucket API is inside of our program and we can create a new class we'll call this test.java ok so this is our basic layout for a bucket plugin it's not like a regular Java program with public static main void. We're not going to need that. First step is to have up here after test before this opening curly bracket, you need to add extends Java plugin. Then it will get a little red squiggly line under it looks like an error but it's really not in Java there's something that we have to do called importing which basically tells Java oh we need to use Java plugin and Java plugin is in craftbucket.jar so we need to grab it out of craftbucket.jar and put it in our file so we can use it next we need to create on enable and on disable methods you don't basically they do exactly what they say on the enable of your plugin on enable runs on disable on disable runs so what we need to do is at override you don't need to worry about what at override does at this point in time if you really would like to find more about it then you can go look at the red boss the new boston tutorials on learning Java, watch all of them and you'll find out by the end. 
then we need to have public void on on enable parentheses like that and then we do the same thing for on disable Okay, so now we have our first basic Java plugin in made for bucket. Now save this and there's one more thing we need to do before we export it. On first bucket plugin, create a new file. File name and call it plugin. Dot YML. YML is a special file format that Bucket can read. So basically, if you've ever used a Bucket plugin, you know that almost every plugin has a config.yml. <coughs> basically, this is a config.yml for Bucket. It sees information about this plugin to tell it how to navigate. So I have a pre-made one right here so that we can do this quicker. Basically what you need is the name of your plugin. So this one will be called test. The most important line right here is the main. So this set is basically where your main class is. So if you've ever done the made a website before, this is basically the index file where you want to tell bucket to run. Any file that has on enable and on disable is where you want the main to set to. So what we need to do is since test.java, which is our main class, is inside of test the package, we need to do test dot test. We don't need dot java. We don't need anything except test.test. .test. Basically what this means is go in the package test, look for a Java file called test, which has all the instructions to run our plugin. And then description can be whatever you want. Version 1.0 and author is your name. Then we save that. And under first bucket plugin, hit refresh. That's a crucial step. If you don't do that, you will get errors in your compiling. And then eventually errors when you add the plugin to your server. After that, you're going to want to export it as a jar file. And if it'll probably look like this, just go down to Java, open it up, click on jar file. Not a runnable jar file or a Java doc, just jar file. Then, don't mess with anything up there, anything right here. Right here, you just need to change the name to whatever you want it to be named. Don't change dot jar. Just this part in between the first, the last slash, and the dot jar. So I'll call it test dot jar. Don't change anything else. And press finish. No errors. I already have a vi plugin server testing set up. So. I'm just going to add this into the plugin testing server. I will give you a link to some great server setup tutorials in the description. Start the server. Wait for it to start up. And we won't need to join it at this point. But, as you can see, t 
test info test enabling test version 1.0 that is our plugin it's successfully compiled and is running on our server that is how you make your first bucket plugin next video I'll be showing you how to make our test plugin say something in game when we join